Colin from The Bike Dads here, and today I'm gonna to review the PNW apparel line. That's the jacket, the shorts, and the jersey. So a little side benefit of the things Jack and I do here at The Bike Dads, sometimes we get some free stuff for ourselves. So PNW shipped up um, all three items here. I was not paid to do this. I, there was no promise to do this, but I think there's so much value here that I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. I will put affiliate links to the apparel in the YouTube description and you can check out our website under Dad Gear. I'll also drop timestamps below so you can skip to each individual item. So let's get into it. So full disclosure, I usually when it comes to jackets, I don't purchase bike company gear. I find that the outdoor apparel brands usually make a better jacket that breathes better, has better waterproof properties. But in this case, PNW has really done something unique. They've come out with their first line of apparel that hits the mark. And my favorite piece out of the three definitely is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Ozone jersey. It is $50 and I like it as much as the more premium merino wool stuff that costs $80 and up. It might be a little more stinky comparatively, but it does a really good job as it's a 20% wool, 80% poly blend. The benefit of that poly is it dries a bit quicker than most of the merino wool I have, but it really is the comfort of this. It's so comfortable. It's comparable to some of the top merino wool that for comfort I traditionally like. This is as comfortable or if not more comfortable. I'm wearing a size medium. I often find myself wearing this hours post ride because it's just that comfortable. It does have these I don't know if you can see, but these perforated holes will come closer. Maybe you can see in the armpit. I don't know if that does anything. The material breathes really well on its own. Um, this might just add a little benefit. The fit is both sort of long and lean in the arms as well as the torso, but it does fit true to size. So check the size chart on the PNW website to get the appropriate thing for you. So next up is the shorts. So. I typically, as soon as the trails dry out, I switch to shorts. I prefer to ride shorts in the warmer weather or when it's not mucky. I do prefer pants in the winter for sure, but man, I like a good short. So these are the shuttle short from PNW. They retail for $100. They're made of this nylon spandex blend, which gives you this stretch component to it. So as you ride, it doesn't bother you at all. It contours to your shape a bit and it moves with you. Mine are size medium. I'm about five foot eight. I run about 150 pounds, typically have a 30 to 31 inch waist. And how these fasten is we, we have here is a, a button fastener, which I'm okay with because I find snaps, they often fail. And this is much easier to repair with a button. And along with that, you also have on each side this. So these are the cinches. It looks like you, you might be able to put a belt loop, but there's only two loops on each side, so it won't fit a belt. That's okay with me, I never use a belt. I use these cinches and they work great. You might have a little bit of trouble if you're using a bum bag. It's, it protrudes a bit, this fastener, so you just wouldn't want the bum bag to rub on your, on your hips. Pocket-wise, we have four pockets. So we've got two deep pockets in the front of the short on each side. They're quite nice. You can even fit a phone in there, no problem. And it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out at all. We also have two pockets on the side of the shorts. So these are zip based and they're on an angle. And the intention here is that when you're riding, it's not gonna bother you as much if you have a wallet or your phone in the side pocket zipped up. And that's true to extent, especially on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, you have an internal pouch. That's what it looks like here. And you can slip your phone in there, no problem. I run an iPhone 12, it fits in there with the case, nice and snug and it keeps it from moving around while you're riding. Now I will say one thing about these side zip pockets is if you leave them open, things will fall out. I may know a guy who lost his key fob up on Galbraith on Space Wolf, so if you see a Chevy key fob, let me know. Um, you really gotta be sure you have these zippers zipped up I would like to see you know what you see in board shorts and I've had these in mountain bike shorts in the past. It's where they have a little lacing system you could lace your key fob to. That would make full stop you not lose your keys. The shorts also have a DWR water resistant coating. 
So you make sure when you wash them that you use a technical wash. You can get this from REI or Mountain Equipment Co-op up in Canada, just so that you don't wear out that coating and you still maintain some water resistance. Don't expect them to be like waterproof mountain biking pants. That's not these. This is more, I think, appropriate for light mist, maybe the occasional puddle you go through, sort of fun on the side of the trail. If you're in real wet conditions, you're gonna wanna use something else. So these have become one of my go-to pair of shorts. I love the fact that they're stretchy, they contour, they have all the pockets that can fit all kinds of stuff in them. They cinch nice and tight when I need it to be. Great shorts. Next up is the Lander Jacket. It comes in at $150. It also uses a stretch based fabric, so it moves with you, which is really, really nice. I'm wearing a size medium here. The fit is also pretty long and lean. Now the standout of this jacket, it, it's probably the material I'd say. So it's not the most light jacket you'll see out there. I actually prefer something a little more lightweight for spring, summer type stuff, like 100 grams or so. That packs a little smaller. This is my typical coat. It packs really small. The PNW is a bit bigger. Um, probably packs two to three times the size of that. But it has quite a bit of pockets and it has the hood as well that takes up some of that real estate. So I find this most appropriate for those cooler days, you know, when you're riding in, in temperatures in the 40s and 30s Fahrenheit. Um, maybe you could get up creeping up in the 50s, but anything warmer, I'm using a lighter weight jacket. But like I said, it's the material here, this stretchy four-way material that offers some DWR coating as well, so it is water resistant. It's not waterproof like a three-layer Gore-Tex jacket, but you're not, I don't really ride in the three-layer Gore-Tex unless it's really miserable conditions. And even then, I'm not really riding in miserable conditions too much. I'm staying at home if that's the case. But if you know you're gonna get wet and there's lots of puddles on traverse trails and things like that, you probably wanna wear something a little more waterproof. But this, the benefit is it breathes much better. And it is lighter weight than a three layer coat and it packs a bit better as well. So this I'd almost classify as in between like the really lightweight jackets and then your three layer gore waterproof type jacket. So pocket wise, three pockets, two in the front, each side has zips, plenty of room here, lined pockets, one on each side like I mentioned. In the back is where the unique feature of this jacket is. We've got a pocket that runs through the length of the coat. It offers venting as well, so you can open that up if you find yourself sweating a lot. But you can fit quite a bit in this back pocket. And it also has a cinch system where you run that through the internals of the jacket. So if, you're, if you have something a little heavier weight in that back pocket, you can cinch it down and it's not going to be flopping around while you're riding. It's a pretty fantastic system if you'd like to carry things. So it does have this hood and you can sort of fold it away and roll it away. I'm not a fan of hoods on mountain biking jackets. I never wear a hood usually unless it's pissing down rain and like I said I'm not really riding if it's pissing down rain. Um, some people will, will only wear a jacket with a hood but I find that hilarious because they hardly ever wear the hood. I would like to see a removable hood or just maybe not ha have a hood at all but that's my personal preference. So the jacket does pack into the front pocket. It's not small enough to fit in down tube storage. Uh, you probably could get it into a larger fanny pack or bum bag. Definitely a backpack. The four-way stretch really, really optimizes the jacket when you're riding with it. That blend of nylon and spandex, it just moves with you, it breathes great. That's where this jacket shines. So all three pieces I've talked about are offered in size extra small all the way up to double extra large. So there's bound to be a size that fits you. All this stuff also comes with PNW's lifetime warranty. So you see this in some apparel brands like Arcteryx and jackets and such, but this is for everything, the jersey, the jacket and the pants. So if you have a manufacturer defect of some sort, they're gonna sort you out. They're gonna send you a new piece or they'll refund your money. These guys are really going after the market. So I've been riding with this stuff over this past winter and have had great success. Uh, it's, the jersey's one of my go-to for sure, as well as the shorts. 
that jacket, it falls in that mid-weight type category, so I don't wear it as much as, say, the light, lightweight jackets. Um, but that's probably where I live too, up here in the PNW. It just doesn't get that cold. The jacket would be perfect in those colder morning rides, things like that, if you live in the Rockies or in the desert. Fantastic. So we usually do more kid stuff, but once in a while we you know, get some dad stuff and we throw it up on our website and our YouTube channel. So go check out our site under dad gear if you want to see more dad stuff. And of course, for all the stuff on kids and family mountain biking, visit www.thebikedads.com.